were going on in WWE with Batista and the fans. And I'm going to tell you right here, in this video, whose side I am on. Um, I am on the side of Batista. I will always be on the side of Dave Batista. Um, Dave Batista don't got to prove nothing to these whack-ass fans. You know what I'm saying? Um, Batista came back to the WWE, and um, I, I can admit I don't like the way he wrestles now. I don't like, I, I just think that uh, his wrestling skills could be a lot better. Um, I didn't think he should have won the Royal Rumble. No, I don't think he should have been in the, ra in the uh, main event at WrestleMania. No, I think Daniel Bryan should have had that spot. But I'm going to say it right here. It is what it is. This man, Dave Batista, put the WWE on the map. Went long before there was a fucking Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan didn't even exist when Dave Batista was doing his thing. But some people can argue, well, D Daniel Bryan was in uh, SummerSlam and um, he lost to a uh, title to Randy Orton by the authority. And the storyline should have culminated to WrestleMania 30. His obstacle fight with the authority should have led to him getting the WWE World Title at WrestleMania 30. But to sit here and act like you never, ever liked Batista. I'm talking about the fans. To sit here and act like you never seen Dave Batista do his thing in the, in the uh, Ruthless Aggression era. That's fucking bullshit. Because this is a dude, I don't care what nobody say. This is a dude that absolutely carried the WWE from 2005 all the way to 2010 when he left the company. And some people can say, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He was barely on TV. Come on, give me, don't give me that fucking bullshit. All of those good matches he had in that era was awesome. People down, downgrading his whole career. Come on, man. I'm upset with the fans a little bit because I always wanted, to, I always wanted to see Batista come back. Because I'm gonna tell you like it is. At the end of 2010, I thought he was gonna come back in 2011. You know that year that the core hat came to the WWE. I thought he, I thought he was coming back. But the fans always got something to say. You know, it's like they own everything now. All the fans own everything. They get to tell you what what uh what Batista's career is all about. The WWE fans is being a bunch of a uh, bunch of jerks. They being a bunch of pussies. The WWE fans are spoiled. That's what the WWE fans are. I follow Batista's career um from um when he was in Evolution to when he got out on his own when he wrestled Triple H in an awesome Hell in a Cell match at Vengeance 05. Then he went on to face JBL and ran through SmackDown. Bull rope matches, matches with Eddie Guerrero, tag team titles. The dude been world champion for a lot, uh, for like maybe five times, but I do agree. Don't get me wrong, I do agree that he got Daniel Bryan's spot. But to sit here and and demonize the dude and boo him and call him Bautista and your career been trash all along, you can't wrestle. Come on, man, I'm a big Dave Bautista supporter. And I, and I do not like what's going on. I don't, I hate the fact that he came back in this era. You know, because if you look at it in 2010, the WWE was not to this extent. It still has something cool about, it still has something, to, something cool about it when he left. Now, all that coolness that, that was there when he left is gone. I, I just think, I just think this. Sometimes I ask myself, why, Batista? Why did you come back, man? Why did you come back? You did it. You know what I think? He did it for he did it for the WWE universe. He don't want to admit that because he's hurt by the way he's being rejected. Yes, I, I just said it. He 
he's not going to be like he used to be. That massive muscle is gone. You just, just got to deal with it. Just got to deal with it. Like he said. Like he said last night on SmackDown. Deal with it. I'm here to win the WWE World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. And I don't give a damn about all you fat motherfuckers out there in the audience eating hot dogs and eating potato chips. You know, and working at some stupid restaurant. I'm here to make money. I'm here to win titles. I'm here to to beat Randy Orton at WrestleMania and take home the WWE World Heavyweight title so I can take a sixth championship home with me. I don't know how many he got, but he got a lot of the uh, world title reigns. But I also think that the WWE should focus on the young talent. Maybe Batista will put some young talent over, but I just think the audience is being... Way too cruel, way too cruel, you know. And then this would get me when he came back, nobody act like they knew him. You mean to tell me that the WWE audience never knew Batista? I'm looking at my TV, I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Don't you know this man? This is the animal, this is Batista, this is the man that was in evolution. Who 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 worked behind and followed Ric Flair and Triple H? You know what I'm saying? But um, this whole Daniel Bryan Batista CM Punk thing is getting on my nerve. I'm a wrestling fan. I'm a wrestling fan. It's hard to give up watching professional wrestling, even though it, it's corny. Even though the WWE is, is a joke right now, it's just hard when you've been watching wrestling for so long. Like I've been watching since 1999. It's so hard, like, to stop watching it, you know, even though it's shitty. You know, they coming over here to St. Louis. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get my ticket, and I'm going to go to Monday Night Raw, you know, just to get out the house and, uh, and um, enjoy, enjoy myself. But I just think the WWE is in a, in a bad state right now because the the from the people backstage that don't know what they're doing, the audience is all jacked up. Vince McMahon, if he really want to make WWE a bigger, bigger show, he got to he got to start over. He got to start over from from scratch because you got to fix the audience. You got to fix the people who write the shows. You got to fix the announce team. You got to fix it all because it's broken. The WWE is broken, and I don't know how it can be fixed. You got to fix that audience too. And you got to fix the people who, who backstage dealing with the booking and stuff. Because that's the main problem. You got to turn this back to where at least how it was in the Ruthless Aggression era. When the fans didn't give a fuck. They had cheer for anybody. And and when Dave Batista got hurt, everybody was sad because he left. People was crying because Batista got hurt that year. You know what I'm saying? When he t- uh, Mark Henry had hurt him. But, um... I'm just, I'm just disgusted in, in the way the WWE fans been acting. Yes, I, I understand that they upset about CM Punk. I understand it. But to take it, all y'all aggression out on Dave Batista, that's, <laughs> that's fucking wrong, man. I just think it's wrong. Because I, I love Batista's resume. Uh, his resume is bigger than Daniel Bryan's. When you go on the internet and you pull up Batista's resume... It's going to tell you a lot of shit that he did. And if you pull up Daniel Bryan's resume, resume, it's not going to tell you too much. Um, WWE, um, they 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 trying to put their chips in the basket. And I hope it works. And I hope it don't flame out. Batista, former world heavyweight title uh, champion, WWE champion, tag team champion, intercontinental champion. Um. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Been, been in the, some of the biggest matches ever. The WWE fans need to lay off a of big Dave. Like he said last night, deal with it.